So welcome back guys to LBS Response to episode number 61 and in today's video we've got quite a few questions uh, for this week. I do want to again bring this back to being a uh, pretty weekly series so uh, yeah let's get right into it guys. Again leave your questions down below for next week and more than likely they will get answered. So uh, yeah let's get into it guys. First question comes from uh, Arc8083. He says, what do you think about the new LEGO Star Wars rumors and what set are you most excited about if they are true? So uh, I think the rumors are pretty good. I've kind of made a separate video on them. I think they're halfway decent. I think it looks like we're going to be getting a pretty good wave. Uh, there's still a few things yet to be officially revealed yet or uh, rumored even. A few, you know, unknown sets and minifigures, of course. But I think at this current point, uh, Bad Bad Shuttle is what I'm most excited for. I think for 100 bucks, it's going to be a very nice scale. And if it really does come with all four of the uh, the Bad Batch figures, I mean, that's going to be ideal deal actually no i think it's all five of the minifigures right including echo so especially if it's all five of them that's that's gonna be insane so uh there's the answer to that one then we have a uh, zjul smolder says uh, since you would like to have a walking dead set would you ever make one to put it on lego ideas uh with the shows uh following and your channel and might make it uh so probably not honestly i think it's one of those things that i eventually want to make a walking dead mock for sure i've wanted to for a while but uh, I've yet to ever really go through the, the trouble of making custom figures for it or uh, really, again, just having the time for it. Again, I, I, there's a lot of other mocks I have in the, in the pipeline right now uh, that I want to get done and accomplished. Uh, but the Walking Dead one, eventually I will uh, probably do a pretty large scale mock of uh, probably, probably the Sanctuary, Alexandria, uh, just something from the later seasons. Again, since there's pretty good uh, you know, farm mocks and prison mocks and Woodbury mocks already kind of out there. So uh, probably something newer. I mean, quite frankly, season eight is one of my favorite seasons. Uh, so I probably would do something, you know, Alexandria versus, uh, uh, you know, the, the Savior. So now there's that, but I, I'll probably not put on Lego ideas. I'll probably be too big, you know, too, too, you know, large scale of a mock to really ever even consider that. And uh, yeah, so there's that. And we've got from uh, our toy world. He says, a lovely new, new setup, uh, great lighting. Thanks, man. It's appreciated. Uh, he says, uh, will you ever go back to the couch setup? I think it's another great backdrop for videos. So uh, yeah, uh, actually I've considered that. Uh, I've got to fix the lighting a little bit over there. I'm thinking about maybe using the uh, ring light I bought off of Amazon that I've yet to uh, use. I might maybe set that up down there when I do a video, but uh, I feel like this is kind of quick and easy for now. I do like the setup here. I do got to fix the lighting a little bit. I I feel uh, I feel like it gets a little shadowy at some points but uh, I do plan on going back to that setup for a few other videos you know maybe if it's just more of like a sit down video uh, you don't really have to discuss something or just I might maybe switch it up eventually but for now I really am enjoying the fact you know standing up here and uh, you know using the setup but uh, yeah eventually man then we've got Nico Brick says uh, how many sets do you roughly have in your collection and that's actually a good question I really don't have an answer for you right this second uh, I've never really gone through my brick set uh, you know list and really completed it and made sure it was right uh if it does tell you anything i know for a fact i do have over 150 since i went back and added up uh all of my army videos and uh i have over 150 just as of then uh so if you count you take into account now a few you know random vehicles uh probably about 200 uh sets total uh for star wars at least and then if you take into account everything uh probably pushing more about 250 i mean i've got quite a few speed champions uh castle of course a few marvel uh so yeah probably pushing about 250 but uh actually in a couple months now after i go and rebuild uh, my entire collection pretty much and clean it up and you know wash it up and display it again i'll pretty much have an answer for you then then we've got the quickie 9288 quickie he says should i get retired clones as a lot individually or retired battle packs for clone army building uh genuinely I don't uh, you know, recommend buying battle packs. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to be paying like 100 bucks for a sealed battle pack, and uh, you know, not, not a lot of people sell you know used complete battle packs. I mean, you can find them here and there, but at the end of the day, it's, it's really either sealed battle packs or you're going to have to buy the clone separate. Uh, so I definitely think your best bet is to get them separate, uh, you know, or in lots, whatever way is cheaper. Like if you find. Uh, you know, 10 of them off of eBay for 50 bucks compared to, uh, you know, 10 of them separately for $6 a piece. You know, I'd rather, or you, you should rather just get the, uh, you know, the lots, of course. But I think individually is the way to go. Uh, buying battle packs, you know, whether they're sealed or not, uh, will more than likely hike the price up, you know, just because it's the complete set you know even though you know pretty much no one gives a, a heck about the build but uh, yeah that's my opinion on that and we've got the mike and nike production says uh, what type of videos are the most fun to make and uh, at this current point i think it's these videos uh not lb's response in particular but i think it's these uh last couple videos i made uh actually i made two videos before this and then it was the kind of the video where i was kind of going over like the number one uh you know thing that lego fans do wrong i think those types of videos are just really fun to make you know just kind of you know easy to stand up here and kind of just speak my thoughts and uh, you know have quite 
quite a few of you guys actually enjoy listening to those videos. So I think those are uh, truthfully probably the most fun to make because again, the filming part of it does not take that long. So then I'm able to kind of go in there and edit and kind of make it a little bit more of a fun, uh, you know, video, you know, while editing without, you know, having to take, you know, 12 hours for one video, you know, all together. But uh, those are fun. Of course, you know, some of the large hauls are fun uh, to do, you know, really just for kind of my sake. But uh, yeah, there's pretty much that. And we've actually got the bomb, bomb Dito's production. He says, uh, which are some Star Wars minifigures that Lego would need to remake? And I've actually got a video coming out on that pretty soon, guys. I might throw up a thumbnail if I have it done by now uh, when I edit this, but uh, that should be coming up uh, within a couple weeks. And uh, yeah, I'll answer it there. Then we've got the last question coming in from RazorMonkey13. He says, why do you think LEGO minifigures be in the crack in the arms and torso when LEGO says quality is number one? And uh, I think it's really just has to do with the, uh, the overall, you know, if you start to take off the arms of your minifigure, you know, multiple, multiple times, of course that plastic is just going to keep on wearing down and wearing down. And eventually, you know, the, the connection, like the friction between the two pieces there will just kind of not be there anymore. So then it'll be easier for... Uh, you know, when you're able to, you know, when you take it off, it's just going to crack the piece off since there's really no, you know, even like, again, I don't know, like the, the perfect scientific, uh, you know, terms for it, but of course you just have to understand, you know, just like same with like some Lego pieces, I mean, primarily reddish brown and dark brown, you know, once they get pretty old, uh, you know, they got more, you know, possibilities to crack. I mean, I've even had some dark blue gray crack on me, you know, some dark gray, some black pieces. I've had that happen to me. It's really just the fact that the plastic is aging, you know, after using it for a long time. Uh, you know, being in one position for so long and just kind of losing that you know, durability. Again, you can't really blame them that much. I mean, there should not be, uh, you, you, all your minifigures should not be cracked arms or, or cracked torsos. I mean, I've, I've come across a few of them, but uh, as long as you just take care of your collection, I mean, you really should not be getting that many of them. So uh, there's that. So yeah, I want to thank you guys all for watching this video. Again, be sure to leave your question down below for next week. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all, guys. I want to thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Stay safe, guys. See you guys then. Bye.